The writer knows it's hard to be poor, it's hard to be rich, it's hard to be middle class, it's hard to be working class, it's hard to have no class, but the Christian should be able to say, I can live in all situations because my material or my financial circumstances do not determine my value. They don't tell me whether or not I'm a good person or whether or not God loves me. Stuff doesn't satisfy me. My relationship with Jesus does all of that. And my relationship is the same on my best days and on my worst days. And my relationship with Christ, in Christ, is really what matters. Not whether I'm rich or poor, but whether I'm found righteous or unrighteous, whether I'm in Christ or outside of Christ, whether I belong to Jesus or he says, I never knew you. This is why I repeat that we must be mesmerized by the gospel. It has to be the best news on my best day when I'm tempted to think I don't need God, and it has to be the best news on my worst day when I'm tempted to think God has forgotten me. I need to look at the gospel of Jesus coming and living and dying and rising for my salvation, his free gift, his call, his faith, his new life, and be satisfied. Here's the question for us. If the Lord suddenly made all your wildest dreams come true, or he took them all away, would you still worship him? Would you still find the Lord Jesus as your portion, and would that be enough? Would you still find the Lord Jesus as your all and in all, no matter what your circumstances are? If you do, if you will, you will be truly content 